everyone, welcome back. Today we are in the Sims 4 again doing another build video for today. I am doing build in the Stranger Things world. Not Stranger Things, sorry, Stranger, Stranger Vills world based on the show, but obviously Stranger Vills world in Sims 4. Um, and I'm just doing a standard house, I guess. Um, kind of basing it off of the houses that are around it. So you, a lot of them had like, um, just like... A lot of um, porches and stuff, I guess you could say. So did that, um, tops, and just kind of yeah, just basing it around those houses, I guess, to fit it in more with the world. Um, I don't build a lot in this world mainly because the lighting is horrible. Um, if it, it just turns everything like a yellowy color. Um, which is annoying if you want to do like a white build. Um, so I ended up doing like an orangey kind of build for this one. Um, for the reasoning of it makes everything really orange. Um, and so yeah, just kind of went based on that. Um, I didn't stick to just using the Strangerville items. Um, I did use the windows um, from it though. As I thought it was like might as well. Um, but then yeah, didn't stick to just the, the items because it's all very like the windows are like the only thing like I actually like from the pack. Like the build items are all like laboratory stuff. So I don't like using it for that. Um, but other than that, yeah. So yeah. Um, but yeah, for the outside, just kind of just part of it now and then do the rest later. Um, but yeah. Moving on to the inside though, um, it was quite a big house. I didn't think it was going to be as big as I, as I thought it was, but it actually was quite large. So I, um, yeah, just, um, that was, it was fine. That was quite large. I just ended up having a lot more space than I thought I, but I don't like you, like, I don't like doing huge bills because I don't know what to do with the space. So like, um, the office, one of the bathrooms, and then kitchen and dining room are all downstairs. Um, and then for the upstairs you have a two bedroom and a bathroom as well um, for this house. Um, I tend to only do like one bathroom houses so normally and one bedrooms, but it's fine. Um, I guess for the kitchen, I end up, the kitchen ended up being quite large as to fill up the space for downstairs everything is open planned. I think if I made everything like not open planned it would have been maybe like um like a bit better you not looking as empty but I still made it all open plan and just made everything like really like take up a lot of space for the living room and, ex and kitchen etc. Um so the living room is right next to the kitchen um just worked space wise um with that and i ended up using a lot of dream home dream home decorator actually in this build i don't really know why but i did so yeah um the kitchen is dream home decorator and then the couch and seats and all the seats and stuff are dream home decorator and hence for and then well then also the coffee table and the tv stand as well as they match the kitchen with the swatches um probably why i ended up using that just so everything kind of matched downstairs um as this color of swatches in this is horrible because nothing matches and it's really annoying but so yeah that's probably why i ended up doing a lot of dream idea right in this build um then i added a bookshelf in this corner as like a little reading nook area i guess um I was going to change the bookshelves but then just left it as is. Um, yeah, I just wanted like a little area here that you could sit and read, I guess. Um, it kind of wraps around the wall as well, which kind of took up some more space. Um, and then I guess it's also just a, part, a little bit of the kitchen added as well. I don't know, but yeah. Um, that is basically that kind of area done, obviously adding some more stuff to the kitchen though to make it feel less empty adding some shelves above the counters and adding some decorations to the kitchen countertops um 
yeah just decorations everywhere to make it feel a little more lived in a little less sad um then adding some curtains and stuff to the living rooms and the kitchen area um just to um yeah I don't know, just curtains are a good way to fill up space in the walls so because it like takes up a little more space so you're not having to decorate with all pictures and stuff. Like curtains are just a good way to add something else to the wallscape so it's not as empty. Um for the dining room though, I did add like a half wall to the area just to um, break it off from the front entrance so it's a little more private um, but still open plan. But it's not like as you walk in you're just right the dining room's out there kind of thing so just adding that half of there um for the dining room again during my decorator um used the call of the max light is it the call of the max no um uh luxury kit i can't remember what the score the luxury one light from there um added some photos on the ground just to do something a little bit different and not like everything's hanging i guess added a shelf to the dining room, um, added some plants to make it feel less empty. Um, I don't know why I put an easel in this house but there is one, I guess it was just to fill up space. Um, added some shoes to the front entrance um, just to put something I guess there. Um, and then you know, just adding flooring now. I um, wasn't sure what to do for the wallpaper because I didn't want beige because it didn't match the count like the counters ended up being like a really horrible color to find a wallpaper to go with um so I ended up going for like a greeny blue kind of color um which I thought worked fine like it, I wasn't happy with it but it did the job um so yeah um and yeah just I also really didn't realize that I didn't put doors to the bathroom and the office area so I quickly added those in by adjusting some stuff um added some more stuff to the walls to make it feel a little empty and then moving on to the bathroom now though we've got um obviously toilet shower sinks um I did a double sink in here because it was quite end up being quite a large bathroom um which means I did have a lot of space to work with um and just adding some mats and stuff um continued kind of that theme um went for like a wood theme in I guess for the bathroom downstairs just to continue kind of that because it was dream and decorator sinks so I ended up using it in the bathroom so it kind of just worked with that I guess um moving on to the office area though now um added a desk obviously added this like big bookshelf um then added just a I would just added like random stuff to your sims to do so like, I can added a dartboard in there um there's a memo board I went for a blue theme in here more blue I guess than the outside just to kind of but it still kind of connects with the rest of the house as there's blue wallpaper in the main part of the house and then just bring it in more to the office I guess um yeah but just adding some random stuff to the walls here and then did the same flooring as the rest of the house and a blue wallpaper as well and but yeah moving on to the upstairs now though um did a um obviously got a two bedroom upstairs um with a one bathroom but it's like, a, like an ensuite bathroom um as it just kind of worked out that way uh so one of the rooms is smaller but has an ensuite and the other one is bigger but no ensuite so either of them could have been the master you know just depends how you want to play it Probably the one with the ensuite is the master, even though it is slightly smaller, but that is fine. Yeah, um, did uh, the luxury kit, I keep forgetting the name of it, um, for both bedrooms. Went for one pink theme and one like gold theme, gold beige theme, I guess. Um, and then, yeah, just some flooring, continuing it up to the whole house, this wooden flooring. Moving on to the pink bedroom now, though. Um, but obviously same sort of sort of layout to the other bedroom no, well not layout but just very similar items 
um, which meant I had us kind of looked very similar. Um, I don't know, I just I really like this pack for using it for bedroom, so I like I just kept using it uh, for both. Um, but yeah, just adding some of those final kind of stuff to the bedrooms, like um, clutter and everything to make the bedrooms look more lived in, so it's not empty and sad. Um, yeah. That's about it really though for the bedrooms, just adding those final kind of touches. Made the rig rigs, the rugs quite a bit bigger as well. Um, yeah, and just adding some curtains to the bedrooms as well, so they don't feel, you know, so there's privacy I guess for your sims. Um, adding some final kind of pictures and stuff to the walls. Moving on though to the hallway, continuing the colour scheme from downstairs. Um, I went for a fish tank to fill up that space in the hallway because it is quite a big hallway and I don't like having a, an empty hallway so I added some sheets as well up there just some ottomans um, and then a light there as well um, and then some plants and everything so I added some pictures to the walls to make it feel a little more lived in again um, yeah, nothing too exciting about that really. Um, for the, um, just adding some curtains as well. Um, yeah, just more, even, even more, just more space clutter. Um, for the bathroom though, I did, again, just a standard bathroom. Um, I just, yeah, nothing too exciting about this bathroom. Again, I think I did a double sink again um, for the, yeah, this area. Um, I don't really remember actually. Um, just a lot of clutter around and everything. Um, yeah, uh, but that is about it really though for this house. Um, so I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, um, let me know. And I'll see you guys again soon with another one. Bye.